well. Yes. And it's been so nice outside. You're not sweating instantly when you step outside this week, at least. That's right. Yeah, that's the, the lovely part about the fall feel out yes. there is that we've dropped that humidity and you still notice it out there today, although humidity will creep up a little bit over the next couple of days as we try to get rain in 17 days away officially from the start of fall. I don't know about you, Lindsay, but I'm ready for some pumpkin spice latte. Maybe one or two out there over the next couple of weeks would be nice. Not ice, though. I think we're getting to that zone where we're cooler in the morning and yeah, you might be ready for a hot one. You've got 76 degrees and then tried 84 yesterday in Knoxville. See, these are high temperatures from yesterday with 82 in Columbia. Not bad. Yeah, to take you down out of the 80s and 90s, this is a break for sure. We're watching a little area off the coast that may become subtropical. Still unlikely to see a lot of tropical activity overall in the Atlantic or the Caribbean over the next several days, even though there are areas of disturbed weather. We just have warmer temperatures aloft and we'll get into that a little bit more later at four. But ridge of high pressure is to the north as well and we've been watching the showers and storms from the south so some of that moisture trying to stream in from the southwest we've got a northeasterly surface flow though could bring in a little bit more cloud cover for us tomorrow as it becomes more easterly throughout the day. But right now it's really battling with that dry air that's streaming in from the mid levels and that's going to come in over the mountains of North Carolina, push into the foothills in the Piedmont Triad in the next few hours. You'll notice that the clouds begin to clear some and then we have some good sunshine for you right now, though, our visible satellite imagery showing you those beautiful fair weather cumulus clouds out there from King at 71 69 in Mount Airy 67 in Sparta. It has kept temperatures down somewhat to the west, but we're going to continue to look at more sunshine breaking free through the afternoon. Winds generally out of the north, the northeast. Pollen counts today also low for grasses and weeds, or I should say trees. It's the weeds that are the problem as we see those higher levels going on this time of the year. Typically elm and mulberry as well as cedar and juniper also expected to bump back into the mid range tomorrow. So if you're a seasonal allergy sufferer, this may be why you're sneezing a little bit more out there. All right, hour by hour forecast shows that we have a little little bit of rain trying to sneak in here and especially to the east today. We might see a little bit of that toward the Pittsburgh area, but as we get closer to Raleigh in the Durham region, they're closer to the coast and that low. We might see a little moisture. Our ridge though keeping us pretty dry until we get into late tomorrow. Could see a few patchy showers for the late evening hours. Temperatures though through the afternoon, upper 70s to near 80, a really nice day and more clouds too with scattered shower possibilities. It doesn't necessarily mean you get a lot on the ground. It does look like under a tenth of an inch for a lot of folks for rain fall totals over the next four days. Here's your four day forecast in the mountains. You've got 60s for Thursday to low 70s on Friday and then 68 degrees on your Saturday. Partly cloudy skies by Saturday afternoon. So early morning shower chance possibly with upper 60s and near 70 sunny conditions by Sunday. It's going to feel pretty good out there. It's also less humid for you and the seven day forecast stretches out with 70s for the foothills and the Piedmont tried into next week. So the second week of September, another fabulous one. Temps just a little below normal into those low 80s. It's beautiful and dry much of the week.